Today, we're diving into Dynamic Application Security Testing, or DAST. We'll explore how DAST simulates real-world attacks on deployed environments, catching runtime, configuration, and environment-specific issues to bolster your application's security posture. Dynamic Application Security Testing, or DAS, is a security testing method that analyzes the behavior of a running application by simulating real-world attacks and user scenarios. Unlike static application security testing, which examines the code without executing it, DAS focuses on identifying vulnerabilities in the application during runtime. Unlike static application security testing, which examines the code without executing it, DAS focuses on identifying vulnerabilities in the application during runtime. DAS tools or automated scripts interact with the application from the outside, mimicking the actions of an attacker or a legitimate user. These tools send crafted inputs or requests to the application, monitoring the response and behaviors to identify potential security flaws. So why is dynamic application security testing important? Uncover runtime vulnerabilities. DAST identifies vulnerabilities that appear due to interactions between the application, its dependencies, and the deployment environment. These vulnerabilities can stem from insecure configurations, integration with third-party components, or complex workflows that might not be apparent during static code analysis. Realistic assessment. DAST tests the application in a production-like environment, providing a more realistic assessment of its security posture. By simulating real-world attacks, DAS can uncover vulnerabilities that are difficult or impossible to detect through static analysis alone, complementing other testing methods. While DAS has its limitations, such as missing vulnerabilities that require specific user interactions or environmental conditions, it complements other testing techniques like SAS and interactive application security testing. This multi-dimensional approach ensures a stronger application security posture. Building trust. By incorporating DAS into their security practices, organizations demonstrate their commitment to deliver secure software. This fosters trust amongst customers, partners, and stakeholders, and reduces the risk of costly data breaches. Let's explore the benefits of DAS in more detail. Detecting runtime vulnerabilities. DAS uncovers vulnerabilities that manifest during runtime, including those related to insecure configuration, third-party components, and complex workflows. By testing the application in a running state, DAS exposes these issues and allows organizations to address them proactively. Identifying business logic flaws. DAS can detect vulnerabilities arising from the application's business logic, workflows, and functional requirements, areas often overlooked by other testing methods. External perspective. DAS provides valuable insights into the application's security from an external viewpoint, simulating the perspective of an attacker. This helps organizations understand their application's attack surface and prioritize remediation efforts, enhance security posture. Incorporating DAS into application security practices helps organizations deliver more secure software, reducing the risk of data breaches, and maintaining a strong security posture in an ever-evolving threat landscape. Now, how does DAS differ from SAS? Analysis Approach DAS simulates real-world attackers and user behavior, observing the application's response to identify vulnerabilities that manifest during runtime while SAS analyzes the application's source code, bytecode, or compiled version without executing it, detecting vulnerabilities related to coding flaws and insecure practices. Vulnerability Identification DAST excels at detecting runtime vulnerabilities like authentication issues, insecure configurations, and business logic flaws. SAS is effective at identifying code-related vulnerabilities like input validation errors, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and buffer overflows. Testing phase. DAST is typically conducted later in the software development lifecycle, after the application is built and deployed, providing a realistic security assessment in a production-like environment. SAS, on the other hand, is performed early in the SDLC, allowing developers to address security issues before deployment, false positives and negatives. DAS has a lower risk of false positives due to real-world attack simulations, but may miss vulnerabilities requiring specific user interactions. SAS, on the other hand, may produce false positives or negatives due to the inherent limitations of static analysis. 
In conclusion, dynamic application security testing is a powerful tool for uncovering runtime vulnerabilities and providing a realistic security assessment. By combining DAST with other testing methods like SAST and IAS, organizations can achieve a comprehensive security strategy, ensuring robust protection against evolving threats. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more insights on optimizing your software development and security practices.